Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to flash a custom recovery image on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. Okay, before you begin, you must have done our How to Root the Samsung Galaxy Tab procedure. If you haven't, click on the link there to go do that, and then come back to this one once you're done. Okay, after you've done that, you can do our How to Set Up ADB procedure, so click on this. Uh, and do that just until you can see the serial number when you type ADB devices in the command prompt. Once you can see that serial number, come back to this procedure and we can continue. Okay, so now we're actually going to flash the custom recovery image. So we're going to download the flash image. So click on that and save it to your computer. And we're going to download the kernel file for our Galaxy Tab version. So if you have the T-Mobile in this one, Sprint, this one, Verizon, this one, International, etc. I have the Sprint one, so I'm going to click on this one to download that and save those both to your computer. Then we're going to extract them. Okay, now we're going to take the flash image uh, zip file that we downloaded. We're going to right click, hit extract files. We're going to go to C, Android SDK, Tools folder. Uh, you should have all of this from the how to set up ADV procedure. Click OK and that will extract that to there. Then we're going to do the same thing with our kernel file. Uh, for me we have the sprint kernel file, which even though it says VZW, ignore that. Uh, extract files again. And the exact same place. See Android tools. Yes, tools fine. And now we should be able to go to our C Android SDK tools folder and ADB flash image uh, and our Z image file of some sort should all be inside the Android SDK tools folder. Okay, now we're going to make sure that USB debugging is still checked. So we're going to do applications, development, USB debugging is checked on. So long as that is the case, we're going to plug the tab in via USB. Okay, then we're going to go to the market. I'm going to search for ROM Manager. Download the free one, or if you feel like donating, download the premium one. Wait for that to install. Once it does, open it. Click OK. Click OK. And then we're going to select, even though that this will not work, we're going to select it anyway. Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Choose our device. Uh, if you're using the Sprint tab like I am, just select Verizon. Select Allow. Click OK. Do not reboot into recovery. Just hit Home and we'll continue. Okay, next we're going to open a command prompt by hitting the Start button and typing CMD in the search and hitting Enter. Okay, now for the rest of the procedure, we're going to uh, start where it has our Galaxy Tab version. So for me, it's the Sprint Galaxy Tab, so I'm going to do this whole A section, 1 through 8. And then once I'm done, I will skip all this. I'll go to this new section down here. If you have a, a device other than the Sprint one, say example you have the Verizon one, do this section instead. T-Mobile, do this section. International GSM ones from Europe, do this section. And then continue to this. Make sure you do the right one for your device. Okay, now you're going to type what it's asking you to type into the command prompt. Again, make sure that you type the thing that is specific to your tab, not what I'm typing here in the video, unless you have a Sprint tab. At this point when you type SU, Super user permission might pop up on your device. Make sure you click allow so that we get the number symbol like that, and then you can continue.
Okay, and once you type in that step, your device should reboot into recovery mode. Okay, now I'm going to finish doing the sprint procedure. Again, remember that what I'm doing here in the video is for the sprint Galaxy tab. Please read your version's uh, procedure and do that instead of what I'm doing here in the video. Okay, for the sprint, well, when it gets stuck on the Samsung logo, we're gonna hold down both volume keys and power. Until the device powers off. Then we're gonna let go. Now we're going to turn it back on by holding the volume key up and power just until we see the Samsung logo and we let go. And it should boot into recovery and automatically begin backing up. Okay, now I'm going to go to wipe data factory reset. Since it failed, in case you didn't see all that invalid argument stuff, since it failed we did the wipe data, then we're going to wipe cache. Once that's done, we're going to reboot system now. And it should get stuck on the Samsung logo. So once it does, we're going to hold down volume up and down and power and keep holding it until it turns off like so then let go once it's off you'll see the battery symbol hold volume up and power and keep holding it until we see the Samsung logo again And then let go. And it should start to back up again. And again, try to convert uh, our file system to XT4. Okay, so you notice this time it finished. It says restore complete at the bottom. Uh, now that we've done that, I'm going to select reboot system now. And this time it should boot up normally. Give it a second to do so. Okay, once it boots up regularly, we're going to go to the market. Log in if you have to, accept the terms and conditions. And then we're going to search for raw manager. Download it, install it, wait for that to install. Okay, once it's installed, we're going to open it. Click OK, click OK. We're going to click Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Choose our Galaxy Tab version. Even if you're using Sprint again, we're using going to select Verizon. Hit allow, click OK. 
And that's pretty much it. Now if you ever need to boot into recovery mode, go to RAW Manager and just click Reboot into Recovery. Click OK. The device should reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery if everything worked properly. And there you are. So now you have a custom recovery image. So now you can go on to the next procedure, which is how to load a custom ROM if you want to load custom ROMs. Uh, and enjoy.